Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about aplerinone. What is this drug aplerinone? Aplerinone is an aldosterone receptor antagonist. We have similar drug within this category spironolactone which is again aldosterone antagonist but this spironolactone is going to be converted into one of the metabolite canrinone which produce some gynecomastia resulting in the enlargement of the breast in the men this side effect produced by spironolactone is due to its metabolite canrinone which acts on estrogen receptors to produce gynecomastia but aplerinone is having somewhat less hormonal side effects compared with the spironolactone so gynecomastia is not pronounced with this aplerinone so today in this video we are going to discuss about this aplerinone how this drug acts what are the important precautions drug interactions contraindications side effects and doses all these things we will discuss in this video so one of the clinical use of aplerinone is in the treatment of congestive heart failure particularly after myocardial infarction where there is decreased cardiac output resulting in left ventricular ejection fraction less than or equal to 40% in such patients aplerinone can be used in order to reduce the cardiac war this drug increase the sodium excretion thereby reduce the cardiac war and improves the cardiac efficiency Similarly, this drug can also be used in the management of hypertension as it reduces the serum sodium levels. It can reduce the blood pressure in the patients. This drug can be used either alone or in combination with other antihypertensive agents. But this drug is contraindicated in few of the conditions. Particularly, the potassium levels are important when the serum potassium levels are greater than 5.5 milli equivalent per liter. In such conditions, this drug is contraindicated. Because this drug is a potassium sparing diuretic, it can further increase the potassium levels, resulting in severe hyperkalemia. So, in such patients, this drug should not be used. Or in those patients with creatinine clearance less than or equal to 30 ml per minute, again this drug is contraindicated. Now, let us see the chemical nature of this drug. We can observe a steroidal ring system here. This is nothing but pregnenone with fourth position a double bond so pregn 4 in is the nucleus within this aplerinone structure and it is having a five membered ring that is fused to the steroidal nucleus this is nothing but the spiraling case that is observed just like spinolactone but one of the difference between the spinolactone and aplerinone is that this aplerinone is a state derivative and another difference is that it is having another extra linkage. This is nothing but epoxy linkage. This epoxy linkage prevents this drug to form a metabolite which increases gynecomastia. That's why aplerinone is having somewhat less gynecomastia compared with spinolactone. Now let us see how this drug acts. Aplerinone acts on the collected tubules. So this is the basolateral membrane and this is the apical membrane, the inner, the inner membrane of the lumen. Now on the epithelium, epithelial sodium channels are present. The sodium ions which are present in the filtrate, they can be absorbed into the renal tubules through these epithelial sodium channels. But the expression of these sodium channels is controlled by one of the hormone aldosterone. This aldosterone can act on the mineralocorticoid receptors. When this aldosterone binds to these MR receptors, they are undergoing dimerization and they can interact with the DNA within the nucleus where they can produce some gene transcription and this gene transcription results in synthesis of few of the proteins leading to formation of sodium channels. Now these sodium channels which are synthesized they are expressed on the epithelium. In this way aldosterone can increase the expression of epithelial sodium channels. Now sodium ions can enter through these channels and then they can be transported into the systemic circulation by another pump on the basolateral membrane that is nothing but sodium potassium ATPase pump. Through this pump the sodium can be absorbed for exchange of potassium. In this way sodium is absorbed at the collected tubules. Now aplerinone is one of the drugs which can block these epithelial sodium channels so that sodium is not reabsorbed instead it is excreted. In this way aplerinone increases the excretion of sodium 
thereby it reduce the blood pressure as well as it reduce the cardiac work. What are the precautions of epilenone? One of the important precautions of epilenone is that this drug can produce hyperkalemia. It can increase the serum potassium levels. That's why epilenone is called as potassium sparing diuretic. As the sodium is more excreted, potassium is retained at the collecting tubules, resulting in the elevated levels of potassium. So hyperkalemia is one of the important precautions that should be considered with this epilenone. And particularly this hyperkalemia is more pronounced in the patients with renal failure. So in such patients where renal failure coexists with hypertension, some care should be taken and serum creatinine level should be monitored before this drug is going to be prescribed. If they are greater than 2 mg per deciliter in the men, otherwise they are greater than 1.8 mg per deciliter in the women, or creatine clearance levels are less than or equal to 50 ml per minute, all these conditions indicate a decreased renal functionality. In such conditions, epilenone is contraindicated because in such patients, this drug can produce severe hyperkalemia. Another important precaution of epilenone is on the drug interaction. This drug is converted into metabolites by one group of enzymes CYP3A4. So we have so many drugs which are inhibitors of CYP3A4 enzyme. For instance, azole antifungals like ketoconazole, itraconazole and antidepressants like nifajadone, antibiotics like clarithromycin, antivirals like ritonavir, nilfinavir. All these drugs can inhibit the CYP3A4 enzyme activity and these drugs are strong inhibitors. That's why all these drugs are contraindicated with epilirinone. What are the side effects of epilirinone? The important side effects of this drug mainly related with cardiac side effects and side effects related with hyperkalemia. So this drug can produce some dizziness, headache, angina, hyperkalemia and it can produce some fatigue gastrointestinal side effects such as diarrhea abdominal pain can be observed some respiratory side effects such as cough increased serum creatinine levels can be observed with this drug and flu-like symptoms such as nasal congestion runny nose can also be observed with this drug this drug can also increase the cholesterol levels resulting in hypercholesterolemia and it can also increase the triglyceride levels resulting in hypertriglyceridemia how it is given this drug is available as tablet and the dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication. For patients with congestive heart failure after myocardial infarction, this drug is started at an initial dose of 25 mg given as once daily so that it can reduce the cardiac work and can improve the symptoms. The dose can be slowly escalated to 50 mg again given as once daily within a period of 4 weeks. Similarly, for the treatment of hypertension, the dose of the drug is given as 50 mg as once daily. So that's about this drug, epilirinone, which is an analog of spironolactone. But compared with the spironolactone, this drug is having somewhat less hormonal side effects. And this drug inhibits sodium reabsorption, thereby increases sodium excretion, resulting in the reduction of blood pressure, as well as it also reduces the cardiac work. But at the same time, it can also reduce the excretion of potassium resulting in hyperkalemia. So in patients with any renal failure or hepatic failure, this drug should be carefully given. Hyperkalemia, flu-like symptoms, headache and dizziness are the important side effects of this drug. And this drug can be used in the management of congestive heart failure after myocardial infarction. Otherwise, it can also be used to manage hypertension either alone or in combination with other drugs. So that's about this drug, epilirinone. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.